Yeah, yeah, we're good. Hey, you all right? I can walk. Oh, was that so? Because last time I saw you, you could barely crawl away from that lurker back there. Look, you're in bad shape, kid. What are you doing out here? Where are the, uh, the people you're with? There's no chance you made it this long on your own. I don't want them thinking we're doing anything but trying to help you. I got separated from my friend and got lost. Well, if he's nearby, then maybe we'll come across I, him. I don't think she is. I'm sorry to hear that. Well, I'm Luke. And this is Pete. Hey there. Hi. I'm Clementine. And it's nice to meet you, Clementine. Now for now, we're gonna take you back to our group. Okay, we got a doctor with us, and you look like you could use some- Oh, shit! <laughs> what? What is it? She's- She's been bit, man. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. What are we gonna do here? Hmm. No, it was a dog. I didn't see any dog, Clementine. Come on, kid. We just saw you with those lurkers back there. No, no, just look at it, please. <laughs> yeah, and have you sink your teeth into Pete's neck? No way. My neck? Why am I the one? Because I don't know a dog bite from a mosquito bite from a lurker bite, man. It's not. Hmm, all right. Let's see it. Whoa, 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 hey, watch yourself. Hey, don't look at me like that. You're the one that's bit here, okay? See? Is it, uh, is it like she says? Hmm. Well, it could be a dog. Hard to say. So where'd this dog go? The one that did this? Now, what, what does that matter, Pete? Serious? I, I killed it. What? Really? A dog shows up and bites you and you just kill it? What would you have done? I don't know. It attacked me. Still, you don't... You don't kill dogs. Yeah, but we had no choice. Clementine? Yes? You telling us the truth? You looked me in the eyes when you answered. Yes. All right, Clementine. That's good enough for me. Well, what else was she going to say? I've got a good bullshit detector, Luke. That's why you can never beat me at poker. <laughs> you don't always beat me at... All right, how can you be sure? Well, I'm sure I ain't willing to leave a little girl in the woods to die when we got a doctor with us that can make a call. We can have Carlos take a look at it first. Nick ain't going to like this. Not with what happened. You don't have to remind me of that, boy. Right. Sorry, sir. Come on. I wonder if this will be the time where we meet up with the group from 400 Days. Clementine, are you feeling all right? I'm fine. Just tired. Well, you better be fine, because I ain't carrying you anymore with that bite on your arm. Don't worry about... Oh, shit. Oh, did the dog eat... A piece of walker or something and get infected. She already told us she was with a friend and then got lost. She was bit by a dog. What? And you just believed her? You should have put her out of her misery right there. Dog bite my ass. I need a dog. <gasps> Keep your finger off the trigger, boy. Whoa! Whoa! What the fuck? You idiot! Every lurker for five miles probably heard You're the that. one telling me to fucking shoot her. Everybody just calm down for a second. Clementine, you okay? I just need a doctor. And then, and then I'll go. I don't want my arm to get infected. None of us want to get infected. That's the point. We got a doctor right here, okay? He'll have a look. Now what the hell is wrong with you people? 
Okay, she's just scared. We're all scared, Luke. Don't act like we're the ones being irrational because we don't buy this bullshit story. No way she survived out here on her own. Why are we even arguing about this? Let me take a look. What is up with all the pregnant people? If the zombie apocalypse ever happened, that'd be like it's the okay. last thing on Go my ahead, mind. Must have hurt. Hmm. Whatever it was, it got you good. This isn't how we do things, man. When you're bit, you get put down. End of story. I'm not going through this again. No one's suggesting that. We could take her arm off. <gasps> I know that worked for a cousin down in Ainsworth. We could try that. It won't do any good. You'll just be making it worse for the girl. It's crazy. No one's going to volunteer to do that. I would. It would mean saving her life. You're a doctor, right? Aren't you supposed to help people that are hurt? I promise you, it was just a dog bite. That's all it was. We'll know soon enough, young lady. Who's she? Sarah, what I say, stay inside. I don't mean to be any trouble. I just want to stop the bleeding and then I'll go. You'll never see me again, I promise. And where exactly would you go? To find my friend Krista. Forget it. You won't get five feet. I understand you're scared. And I feel terrible delaying treatment. But we've got to be sure. So, what do you think? Was it a lurker? A bite like that? Could be anything. Only one way to find out. How? We wait. What? By tomorrow morning, if the fever set in, we'll know if she's gonna turn. In the meantime, we can lock her in the shed. What about like my arm? Idea. It needs to get cleaned and, and stitched and bandaged. The girl is in bad shape, Carlos. Well, we have all that stuff inside the cabin. We could probably get by Alvin, with it. Alvin, please. But yeah, we can't do nothing. I'm not wasting supplies on a lurker bite. If it turns out you're telling the truth, I'll clean it and stitch it up for you in the morning. But... I'm sorry. It's the best we're gonna get. Finger off the trigger, son. I ain't your son. Don't be like that, man. It's all right. Boy's got his mom's temper. Come on. They're treating her like a prisoner. This is just a waste of time. You'll see. And when she turns, I ain't gonna be the one cleaning up the ship. My arm really hurts. I don't know what to tell you except hold out the best you can. We'll see what we can do in the morning. If I make it until then, maybe you could get me some supplies? I wish I could. I really do, but it's too risky. Sorry. Is she gonna get stuck in the shed and... Then a bunch of walkers are gonna come. She'll be the only one that makes it. Why are we doing this? It's fucking dumb. Because it's safer this way, and I'd rather be sure. Yeah, safer. <sighs> I can't believe this. You're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. Okay, so let's see what we got around here. Because we may be able to get out. I see something with a green handle hanging off this ledge up here.
Okay, we need a stool. I feel like that's just hinting for us to get the hammer up there. We're obviously near water. Come on. Okay. There's got to be a way to get up on that shelf. Not much left in here. I guess if I have to, I can use this for stitches. Oh. Okay, so we definitely need to find a way out. Now why can't I use that tackle box and bring it over here? Unless there's something else. That works just as well. Thing she needs is to like break her arm or something. So there's our way out. Oh, come on, Mount. <laughs> this little stick moves so fast. I wonder if we could have made the decision to wait until morning. We have a doctor. He's got to have stuff for stitches. I don't like this. Find a way into the cabin and obtain a needle, peroxide, and some bandages. Oh crap. Well, let's look into some windows first. Oh, we can't. Let's just sneak around the house and see what we got. I want to find a way to look in. Oh, we can sneak under the house. I just don't want to go, you know, guns blazing into the house. But I feel like this is probably going to screw them over. They should have just st stitched her up uh, before putting her in the shed. Five minutes. That, that. It won't take long. There's a few things we need to discuss. Oh, fine. Trapdoor. Let's just use our hand just to see. Okay. Oh, I kind of want to use a knife, but I don't want to lose it. Okay, definitely have to use the knife. Oh. 
I knew it was gonna happen.